friends, long time no see. <laughs> Uh, if you're new here, I'm Bethany. I am a mom to two boys under three, and I'm also a nurse, but changed to stay-at-home mom once I had my babies, and I am currently living in North Carolina, but I'm from Tennessee. I just moved here when I married my husband. So, there is a lot to catch up on. I've not posted a long-form video one to two months. I am posting shorts, but I'm mainly active on TikTok like every single day. So if you want to see content more frequently, TikTok is where you need to be because that's where I am on every day. We're going to catch up. A lot has changed. It's only 1241 in the afternoon and it's been a lot. The kids have been great today. <laughs> but we're going to run some errands because we have to go to the grocery store because we literally have no food. And then I am going to CVS because I am couponing. That is one new thing. I have recently gotten into couponing and I do it almost every single week. And I post content about it on my TikTok and sometimes on YouTube shorts. But I'm doing that, which is new. And it's saving us a ton of money. And I, it's such a fun thing for me to do. I'll take you guys with me. We'll go home. We'll sit and chat for a while. Okay, so I was doing a coupon video for my TikTok account, so I didn't film me going in there, but I went into CVS and I did a coupon deal. They're ready to go. Um, I got two of these toothpaste and two of these mouthwash. The total was 22 and some change before coupons were added, and after that I paid $4.25 for all of it, and it got $7 of extra bucks to use next time. We are going to McDonald's, which is literally, I can see it, it's right across the parking lot, and we're going to get Gatlin a Happy Meal because he didn't really eat good this morning, and he's asking for chicken nuggets, apples, and fries, so that's what we're going to do. Order. Hey, yes, can I have a four-piece chicken nugget Happy Meal? Um, apples, and then can I have just a water, like a small water? Nope, that's it. Thank you. Now we're on our way to Ingles, um, and then I'll give Gatlin his... Happy meal so that he can eat it while we're getting groceries because that seems to make everybody happier. <laughs> Turkey. We got almost everything we needed. Groceries are just so expensive right now. I hate it. Um, I did get a lot of stuff on sale though because we shop at Ingles and then if you have an Ingles Advantage card, you like can save a ton of money and stuff. So that was great and we got a few extra things because they were on sale. I got a Starbucks because I was at a coffee this morning. Like I made some, but I barely had any. I literally made the amount that we had. So I had a tiny bit. And I think this is so good. It's two shots of espresso over ice and a grande cup with two pumps of vanilla, one pump of pumpkin and oat milk. And usually they charge me three dollars or under for it because they only charge for the oat milk and the espresso, but it just depends. Okay, so I put up the groceries and now I'm gonna have to fold and put up this laundry, clean up the bedroom a little bit, and I'm gonna eat my chicken nuggets and chips. Both the boys are also taking their nap that they take together. Um, they take one nap a day together, and um, it's usually like two or three o'clock. And it's usually one and a half, two hours, three hours. It just depends. So I usually try to either rest or get stuff done. And on Mondays, I'm usually getting stuff done. Okay, so everything's folded. Now I gotta put it away. My least favorite chore is folding and putting away laundry. It looks so much better than it did. I have to take those clothes to the boys' room once they wake up. So all the laundry is done that I had. I have some that I had to put up and everything like that. I have some towels drying, and then I'm pretty sure I hear my oldest is up, and my youngest is also up. Just got up, so they're both up, and I'll have to wash them in their clothes later. They're in their room, but let's go get them up and do whatever we're gonna do. Room. What? Room. 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 Both 
up and we're actually going out to eat tonight with a few friends and my sister-in-law so we are packing a plethora of snacks because snacks are the only way that we can go anywhere so i always use this goby snack spinner and fill it to the brim for my toddler it is a must-have and then i always use these target um like hard shell pencil pouches to keep our snacks in for both the boys because literally everything used to get mushed and smashed all the time and now they don't and they're like three dollars i think a piece to get these some other things that we like to use when we pack snacks are these velatuno snack containers they're like the silicone ones but the lids actually come off of these to wash um i have a couple of these in the bag as well we've also been using these stir drink mixes for my toddler's water because he has had a hard time drinking <laughs> regular water lately so they sent me a ton of these and we already liked them like before they sent us some but we did get some that we haven't ever tried so love that these are awesome and they're actually really good they have no bad ingredients zero sugar and just two percent juice in them most of the time so love this is another one of the th things that we really like to buy for our kids to use as well because they don't have any harmful dyes in them Another thing is the people that we're going to go eat dinner with are actually riding with us because we have a huge car now. So I'm going to clean it out real quick. Of course, it's the next day. Um, went to eat last night. We got back really late. So um, I was just going to continue the vlog into today. I just woke up not long ago. That's why I have the morning voice. Um, but the babies are just now waking up. I'm pretty sure Stockton is the only one awake. So I'm going to go get him. I have a hair appointment today just to get my hair washed and trimmed. So we got to go to that one. I don't really know. I don't really know. But we are going to chat so I can update you guys on everything that has changed. So they actually weren't awake when I thought they were awake. So I just went in there and made my coffee and had some like me time. But now he's awake. Yeah. And it's 8.45 and my toddler's still asleep. So we're going to hang out. Yeah. And I'm going to start breakfast and drink my coffee and my greens and all the things. And get mentally prepared to take them both to the hair salon with me. Okay, now my toddler is awake so I'm going to go get him. They're playing in there and I'm just going to get all of this situated and put away because it's been in this basket for like five days. Next, I'm going to have to clean up this playroom because everyone's getting overwhelmed. This is literally so much better. I just don't even know what to do. Okay, so this morning has been super busy. <sighs> and I am getting the kids ready to go. I've got to run by the dump before I go because it's on my way. Yeah. Um, Stockton's okay. taking I had a hair on my lens. Stockton's taking a nap right now. And then I'm gonna hope that he will get up in like forty minutes so we can go. If not, I'll have to get him up. I really don't want to, but I will. Just got back from getting my hair done and I just was doing a TikTok like a daily vlog, so I didn't really vlog on here. But I just got a trim and she blew it out and I got some more face framing because mine was so grown out. The boys did great and it only took about 35 minutes so it wasn't bad at all. And now it is 2.09 and probably in about 30 minutes so I'll take a nap. I was going to take them to the park but it's really, really chilly outside. And we didn't plan for that so I didn't have socks for Stockton or anything like that because we were just inside and in the car. But... We'll report back and chat once they're asleep. So let's crack open a drink and catch up. My drink of choice is a peach vibe Celsius because it's 4 p.m. and I have a lot of good stuff to do tonight. And I'm going to the gym and I have to make bracelets. Okay, y'all. So. Like I said earlier, like in the very beginning of the video, it's been like a month or two since I've posted long form content on here. But 
I wanted to update you guys because I feel like a significant amount of things have changed since I posted on here. Um, like for one, I got a new car and I absolutely love it. It has been super, super helpful for our kiddos and just being able to fit more people in the car with us, have a lot more trunk space and kind of have like the comfort of knowing I'm really not going to have to trade my car again unless it dies or I just want to but I love the vehicle we got a really good deal on it it's a 2018 Ford Expedition Max and it's a white color um with like a light interior but I might do a car tour soon I've had a couple people request it on TikTok and so I may post it there first so you could definitely go find it there um but I really need to clean my car out <laughs> but we did get that um, so you'll notice that in the vlogs. And then also a huge life change that has just happened is I actually went back to work. I did start this channel, um, kind of as a pregnant stay at home mom, transitioned to a stay at home mom of a toddler or a baby, and then a stay at home mom of a toddler and a baby. So, and soon to be two toddlers, which is insane to say, but I did start back about Four weeks ago, I would say, four or five weeks ago, maybe. And I, if you don't know, I'm a nurse. I took almost three years off with my babies because I was put on bed rest when I was pregnant with my first and could not work. And then that transitioned into, um, we did not have childcare. I could not work. Um, so I just decided ultimately to stay home and it was probably the best decision I could have ever made. I have loved every second of being home with my babies. It has been something I will cherish forever and I do want to continue on with that because for one, I am only working on the weekends right now and I'm only working nights and currently it's only Fridays and Saturday nights. So I'm able to spend the entire week staying at home with my children. So I'm essentially a part-time stay-at-home mom, part-time working mom. And my husband is home on the weekends, so he watches them and we do not have to worry about childcare. Another thing is once my training period is over, I'm going to be going to one night a week instead of two, and then possibly like a 7P to 11P shift. So my kids will already be asleep. I can just run and work four hours real quick and then come back. But we had some like financial stuff pop up and so we really could not afford for me to be home anymore. Um, we needed to be able to pay off some of the things that popped up or make decisions with these things and get ourselves in a better financial place before I can stay home again. So basically, ideally, um, what I would like to do is when I have another baby, I want to stay home with them. So what, and it's hard because I love my job, but I do believe that mainly my place is in the home. I don't think that I could go back to work if I was working at 9 to 5. Like, we would really just have to make it work. Um, but because I am a nurse and I have that flexibility, I'm really blessed with that. And I'm so thankful. And I actually really, really love this job that I'm working at. I love the people. I love, I just love it. And I love working night shift. So that's what I'm doing. And... I want to stay employed with them for, I don't see myself leaving. So what I'm thinking is when I get pregnant again, I can just take my maternity leave time. And then I am only required to work because I am PRN. I'm only required to work two 12 hour shifts every single six weeks. So I'll go back and I'll probably do that. Um, just to keep my position. But I, I just, feel like this has been a really good balance for us. It has helped us and blessed us so much with being able to not stress. Um, we were living paycheck to paycheck and sometimes like really, really stressed about paying bills. Um, and this has just been so wonderful for us. And I know it's going to be wonderful, especially around the holidays. And it's allowed me to keep up my nursing license, which is something I don't ever want to lose. And... Um, get my skills going again. So it's been really great. And I was really nervous at first and I really did not want to do it, but we didn't really have a choice. And once I did it, it really wasn't that bad. It was when I was on day shift and had to be away from them all day. Um, 
but now since I'm just working nights and only sleep a few hours the next day it's fine but anywho yes so I'm back at work and I'm really excited that um, we are just able, able to live more comfortably and I found a job that I like and I'm still able to be essentially a stay-at-home mom so that's been awesome but that is really the two main updates. The biggest update was the work situation. I have started posting more on social platforms is another thing. I've started um, making some money off of it. <laughs> okay, so my storage was full, of course. I really need to work on deleting my 47,000 emails and my 17,000 photos and videos. Anyway, yeah, I've started posting on platforms. I think that's what I was talking about. Mainly TikTok and making money that way and so it's been really really nice to have extra cash from that too so I've definitely started taking social media and content creation more seriously doing UGC stuff for brands um doing paid partnerships all the things like that and I am by no means some sort of huge influencer I don't know but I love making content I love having all these videos to look back on and it's just something that's been super fun for me a super good hobby for me and an extra little bit of income for me so those are really all the updates but I just feel like we're in a really good headspace right now we're in a much better position than we have been and I just feel really happy right now if you want to just go follow me on my other platforms I'll have them linked in the description and then also subscribe and stick around because I'd love to have you um, but I will see you in my next video okay bye